need to make sure you're wearing the right set of clothes today. You heard me right. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for the Daily Devo. Today I want to remind you, as always, we can connect over at my website, pastorpete.org. There you'll find many other resources that will help you in your journey with the Lord as well. I was reflecting today in the book of Galatians, reading through it, and I noticed something that I hadn't picked up on before. There's only one mention that I can find in my reading today of baptism here in the book of Galatians, and it comes at the very end of chapter 3. Let me just read it to you before I give you the comments I have for it today. Here's what it says, starting in verse 27. For those of you who were baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. There is no Jew or Greek, slave or free, male and female, since you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, heirs according to the promise. As always, there's so much we could say about this, but I just want to, in a few brief minutes, uh, let you know what what I took out of this, what the nugget that I really focused on today was, and that is this first part. For those of you who were baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. When I read that, I was reminded of something I read years ago, I think it was in a seminary class, that talked about how when a Roman youth came of age, he was given a special toga. His, His clothing changed. And by the signification of that transformation in his clothing, everybody in his community, everybody in society, everybody in the Roman world now knew that this child was no longer to be considered a child, but was to be considered a full Roman citizen. It was by the clothing that he wore. And I think that's kind of what Paul is getting at here. Maybe he's even playing on that knowledge that these in this very Roman world would have understood when he says, For those of you who are baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. In other words, your clothing has changed. You should look different. You should not look like you used to look. And you shouldn't go put on your old clothes again. You know, that Roman boy, when he got his new toga, would never in a million years Imagine putting his boyhood toga on again. Once you upgraded to the full-on Roman citizen, I'm an adult toga, you never went back to the kid clothing again. You wanted to be an adult. And I think it's the same for us as believers. We don't go back to our old clothing. We are clothed in Christ. Make sure you're wearing the right clothes today. You are the called out ones. And then I love how he goes on to say there's no distinction in God's kingdom. We are all the same. We are all equal. We are called to love everybody the same way. We are called to minister to everybody the same way. We are called to be different. So I want to encourage you to go out there today and live for Jesus. Be his hands and feet Remember, the clothing you wear today is different than the clothing you had before you knew Jesus. Put on the right clothes and go and represent Christ well today. May God bless you. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Until then, share this on social media. Come over and visit me at pastorpete.org. We'll see you tomorrow.